we uh, are dealing in the luxury travel market and we plan trips to exotic destinations which we're expanding but mainly in poor countries and during the trips that we plan everything is pre-screened like you would expect from a professional travel consultant but we encourage our guests to link with good NGOs on the ground these are NGOs our partners on the ground whom we trust are doing great work our guests can buy in advance gifts to give uh, good needy projects on the ground in person so for example we have a book box program which is a portable mobile library in Vietnam uh, they have 250 books in two languages in English and Vietnamese and our guests go and deliver the books to rural schools in Vietnam that don't have books they literally don't have any and the boxes are designed to close up and take to around to each of the different schools in the region there are so few books we are involved in a several programs in Cambodia near the temples of Angkor Wat and Siem Reap. People, uh, our guests buy in advance the right to have a water well, fresh water well put in or make a micro loan or fund a, a college student's education. Then they actually meet the recipients of the gift. And the idea is to give people an opportunity to give non-cash gifts on the ground and really make a difference when they travel. This is luxury travel with an afternoon or a day of visiting with an NGO or project or two. Two quick questions. Um, for our less informed uh, viewers, what's an NGO? And secondly, isn't it just a flash way of clearing your conscience if you're going on an expensive holiday? Actually, uh, an NGO is a charity. It's a non-governmental organization as a charity organization. And there are many, many in the developing world and you have to be sure you're dealing with reputable NGOs and the giving of cash in person is a great way on vacation to relieve one's guilt to leave several hundred dollars or pounds to an organization the problem is we never really know where that cash goes so the charity NGOs that we link with we have an accountability system whereby they're giving us material products for a price uh, $500 or about 300 pounds buys a mobile portable mobile library for the children. We can count those and keep track of them. Each is labeled. Each gift that's given is labeled with the guest's name, our company name, the date given, the recipient, and we then can keep track of them. True, to be truly philanthropic, surely one must go on a holiday that is owned and run by local people and the economic benefit goes to the local economy as well though. Yes, I think what we're trying to do is bring together all of the elements of sustainable travel. But we actually are trying to be as inclusive as possible to bring in large hotels that have quality uh, four and five star hotels, to bring them in to the fold as opposed to leave them out. They are the ones who are, are creating the most of the jobs in these regions. They're the ones who are delivering the highest quality accommodations. This is luxury travel after all. And it's not a perfect world. Uh, what we're trying to do is make it a better world by offsetting all of the carbon for all of the travel that our guests take and by working with uh, providers that work in a sustainable ecological way but certainly the, the travel industry is is wasteful uh, and we need to pull together and make it better and to your question on whether giving is giving a gift is just a way to relieve one's conscience while traveling uh, in style in the third world. What I would say is that this is a travel experience. It's a life experience. It's an exchange. It's not a gift. It's not charity. We're working with people who can stand on their own two feet who just need a little bit of help like you and I, that have children like you and I.